everybody, it's uh, me, Brianna, and today we'll be, uh, I'll be shooting this Heritage Rough Rider 22 long rifle at the gelatin targets down there, and, um, the red metal plate down there also, and I want to see how much damage it's going to do to both of those items, and see, uh, see, it. let's just see how this goes. Okay. Now this here, what you're shooting out of here is a different type of uh, ammo. We're doing some experimenting, all right? This is more loaded like a black powder revolver. A black powder revolver is how we got this loaded up. A little uh, exceptions, but the same concept, the same principle, okay? And we're going to give it a try and see what happens. Then we're going to take a 22, regular 22 shells, and we're going to see what that would do in the same targets. Okay, when you're ready... Which one are you starting off with first? The gelatin. The gelatin? Okay, good luck. This, one. Okay. this is a different shot. Make it happen. What? Right. Wow. Woo! Give me a second. Wow. Wow. Hold on, hold on. What? What was different on that one? What did you notice different on that, sweetie? It sounded like a cannon, even though the good news is I had this to protect me. And a lot of smoky powder came out, too. A lot of smoky powder came out, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so did you feel the difference in the power? Yeah. That's just a 22. All right, so let's take another shot. I see where you shot that at. Hold on one second before you do. Don't paint that. Okay, I'm roll down here first. Quick. As you can see, this is where the shot, where she hit at. And that was from the special bullet I was just got through telling you about. You can see the damage it did to that material. Look at it. Wow. Now, when we looked at it with the long rifle and we got that, it doesn't look like that. Well, we're going to let her take another shot and see what happens. Can you take another shot, Bree? Can we get by you? All right, Bree. Whenever you're ready. Turn here. Put it on safety. You got it on safety? All right. We took two shots at the gelatin, right? Mm -hmm. All right. With a, a 22 long heritage rifle. The piece of the paint came off. Okay, show me. I shot and uh, obviously went through here. I made a big, giant, uh, wide opening right here. A piece of the gelatin ended up falling off of it. Uh, and it looks like it ricocheted towards here. Left a big splat right there. And I was able to take a piece of the paint off of it while it was still there. And that wasn't from a regular 22 shell. Okay? That wasn't from a regular 22 shell. Now, not only that, if you look down here from the last one, look what happened. You see that? Yeah. All right, that's from the last bullet that came from right, right there. All right, if you look down here, people, you will see the same thing happen up there. All right, now we're going to shoot this later with a regular 22, and we're going to see what the difference is. All right, that's the cavity, and that's a cavity. We see what it did. Okay. All right. Now let's take let's take two shots at there and there. Uh, you want to show us what else you can do? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Which target are you going for first? That uh, top red one. The top red one. Okay. How I got it loaded, how we got it loaded. You understand that? A regular 22, we're gonna find out very quickly, will not, yes, will not go go through here. Now, there's a trick about this 22. It's a major trick. I got this 22 loaded with some serious, with some serious shells. Like I said, there's the dent right there. Once again, we knocked off more paint. More paint. More paint. Can we see this, people? All right, she's going to take another shot. Another shot at it, B. I think they're saying this is my imagination. You're not shooting that like that.
There was two shots there, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's take a look. Can you walk me through how what you was doing, how you was sighting it? Can you tell us what happened? When I was trying to sight this last one, uh, so I was actually trying to sight some over here. Mm -hmm. But I think when I uh, pulled the trigger, that my it, uh, the the pressure uh, went this way and hit this. Mm -hmm. And then on this first one, I was hitting somewhere around where this area was at. The ball landed here and I was still able to take it looks like a ricochet. I was able to hit this right here before it fell falling to the ground. Okay. Yeah. Now, now let me take a look better look over here. So we have one nice dent right there, right? Yeah. Another nice dent right here, right? Alright. Let's take let's really take two shots at that with the last two bullets is in that chamber there. I wish it was something else. You know what, Brianna? Can you see that can that that gas can down there? Yeah. Can you shoot that for me with that? Yeah, sure. Please hit it. You got two shots to do it on. I seen I seen it move, but I can't tell you if you hit it or not. I don't think you hit it. Try it again. You did nick it or something because I seen it move. Try it again. You got one more shot. Make that shot work. All right, you did it. Give me a second. Well, come here, Bree. Bring, put your weapon down. Come here with me. I want you to tell me something here. I've seen something here. Wow. This is amazing, people. Y'all won't believe what I'm, what, you, what we're using for an ammo. And like I said, it's not a 22 long rifle shell we're using, period. Okay. Can you tell me where you aimed at? I see two shots here. You, you actually did shoot it two times. Can you show me where you hit it at? The first time I tried to hit it somewhere around here, uh -huh. but I don't think I've ever seen this shot on the first time. Right here is where you hit it at. See that? Yeah. All right. Now, I'm going to tell you, what you're putting inside here is a pellet. What you dropping inside here mm. is a 22 pellet. All right. Something you won't believe. Going through this solid piece of metal, this tin, this metal, all right, like butter, all right? What about this shot right there? Can you can you describe it with the dent on that? It looks like it, it looks like a little bit of ricochet part right there. Yes, it hit that sucker hard. It did not go through, but it hit that sucker so hard and put a knot inside there and knocked the paint off of it. Completely off. Now that was a 22 22 heritage revolver we used and we used it in the form of black powder. We used a black powder source to make this all happen like this basically. Okay. Maybe you might be able to see them. All right, two dents there. Okay. And that's what that that's what they did. All right. That's very powerful shooting what we shot up out of there. A 22 pellet. You understand that, Brianna? A 22 pellet. All right. Let's go up there and load it up with a 22 regular. Shot. 